Hey guys, this is Cuber. Today I wanted to make a video on the GAN 354M. So this cube is a cube that I got recently at a competition that I just went to. Uh, you can check out the video that I made about that competition down below. So I got the cube at that competition, but I also just wanted to make a video on it because I know that this cube has gotten a lot of attention recently and some people will be switching over to the GAN 356X now that that cube is out. I haven't tried the X, so I'm not going to be comparing them at all in this video, uh, but I did just want to talk about this cube in particular. So one thing you would notice about the cube right away is that it has black internals and you can also see the magnets on the outside of the edges and the corners. And this is a kind of interesting design choice that GAN has made both for this cube, the 460M, and the newest cube, the X. I'm not really sure why they chose to do this, although it is kind of interesting in the fact that uh, the magnets can't really fall out or get dislodged. And if they somehow come out this way, which I've never seen happen to anyone, then it would be pretty easy to just put them straight back in without having to take apart the pieces. The next thing is the size of the cube, because this is a 54mm 3x3, and many people think that this cube wouldn't be as good or that it would be too small. Personally, I don't think it makes that much of a uh, big difference for me. My turning on it is pretty much the same as a GTS-2 or GTS-3M. One thing that I did notice though is that if you look very carefully, or even if you're just uh, kind of putting your hand on the surface of the cube, you would notice that the edges are a tiny bit more indented into the cube. You can't really see it on the camera, but just slightly more indented into the cube than the corners, as if the edges are a bit smaller. I don't know why this is, this might be a mistake on Gan's part, it might be intentional. If it is intentional, I don't know what purpose it would serve, uh, but that is something that I noticed about the cube. So the next thing of course is performance. Uh, the performance of this cube is very good. I do believe I'll be using this as my backup main, not as my main, uh, just because I really do like the GTS 3M a bit more. But this cube is very stable, um, it's quite fast. And you know, it, this all depends on how you set it up, uh, especially considering that you can swap out one of four GES nut sets, the green, yellow, blue, and purple. It comes with the green GES nuts already in it, and I swapped it out to the yellow and also loosened the cube a bit, uh, and this kind of gave it the ideal slightly loose but still somewhat stable feel that I like where I can feel the magnets a bit more when I'm turning it. But overall, I really like this cube, and I'm not entirely sure if it would be worth the $40 uh, that it comes at. It all depends on what your budget is, uh, what type of cube you're looking for, and also uh, if you really like the feel of GAN cubes or something like that, then this might be worth it to you. But if you have a smaller budget, then you might want to go for a cube such as the GTS-2M or even something else. But anyhow, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more cubing videos coming soon. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.